Let's see the 26th question. A game of chance consists of spinning an arrow which is equally likely to come to rest pointing to one of the numbers 1, 2, 3, so on up to 12 as shown in the figure. What is the probability that it will point to 10, an odd number, a number which is multiple of 3, an even number? An even number. Moving on to the solution. In the game of chance, the spinning arrow can come to rest pointing to any one of the numbers 1, 2, 3, so on up to 12 in 12 ways. So the outcomes 1, 2, 3, 4, so on up to 12 are known as equally likely outcomes since each of them has equal chance of happening. Then we can write total number of possible outcomes equals to 12 which are 1, 2, 3, so on up to 12. We need to find the probability that arrow will point to 10, an odd number, a number which is multiple of 3, an even number. We know that probability of an event is the ratio of number of favorable outcomes of the event to the total number of possible outcomes. Now let's see the A bit. Here we need to find the probability that the arrow will point to 10. Let E be the event of pointing of arrow to 10. Here we see that the arrow can point to 10 in only one way. Then we, then we can write number of favorable outcomes equals to 1. We have total number of possible outcomes as 12. Then P of E equals to number of favorable outcomes that is 1 divided by total number of possible outcomes which is 12. Therefore, the probability of pointing of spinning arrow to 10 is 1 divided by 12. Now let's see the second bit. We need to find the probability that arrow will point to an odd number. Let f be the event of pointing of arrow to an odd number. From 1 to 12, the odd numbers are 1, 3, 5, 7, 9 and 11. Then number of favorable outcomes equals to 6 since the arrow can point to 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11 in 6 ways. We have total number of possible outcomes as 12. Then we can write probability of an event f p of f equals to number of favorable outcomes which is 6 divided by total number of possible outcomes that is 12. Here 6 is common factor of both numerator and denominator. 6 goes in 6 1 times and 6 goes in 12 2 times which is equal to 0.5. Therefore the probability of an event which is pointing of an arrow to an odd number is 0.5. Now let's see the C bit. We need to find the probability that the arrow will point to a number which is multiple of 3. Let G be the event of pointing of arrow to a number which is multiple of 3. From 1 to 12, the multiples of 3, from 1 to 12, the numbers which are multiple of 3 are 3, 6, 9, 12. Then we have number of favorable outcomes of event G equals to 4 since the spinning arrow can come to rest pointing to 3, 6, 9, 12 in 4 ways. We have total number of possible outcomes as 12. We have total number of possible outcomes as 12. Then probability of an event G, P of G equals to number of favorable outcomes that is 4 divided by total number of possible outcomes that is 12. Here 4 is common factor of both numerator and denominator. 4 goes in 4 1 times and 4 goes in 12 3 times. Therefore, the probability that the arrow will point to a number which is multiple of 3 is 1 divided by 3. Now let's see the D bit. Here we need to find the probability that the arrow will point to an even number. Let H be the event of pointing of arrow to an even number. 
from 1 to 12 we see that the numbers which are even are 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 and 12. Then we can write number of favorable outcomes of event h equals to 6 since the spinning arrow can come to rest pointing to 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 in 6 ways. We have total number of possible outcomes as 12. Then we can write then probability of an event h p of h equals to number of favorable outcomes of h that is 6 divided by total number of possible outcomes which is 12. Here 6 is common factor of both numerator and denominator. 6 goes in 6 1 times and 6 goes in 12 2 times which is equal to 0.5. Therefore, the probability that the spinning arrow will point to an even number is 0.5.